welcome cancer we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with over um the next month and um <clears throat> yes we're using the lover's oracle so let's have a look exactly what is going on for you here cancer okay one more card for cancer please okay Oh, well, actually, we already had three cards and one more came out. So let's use the first three that came out. Okay, so Cancer, here's your first card. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Oh, I really like that. That's beautiful. Because at the end of the day, when we're talking about love, right, it's anything, it's any kind of relationship, hey, it's not just romantic it's family it's friends it's um yeah colleagues work colleagues even if you don't really feel much love for them uh okay so give me two cards for this card for cancer please tell me more about this there is no right or wrong when it comes to matters of the heart okay no right or wrong peacock Raise your standards. Interesting. That's really interesting that's come out. When it's saying there is no right or wrong and it's saying to you to raise your standards, I don't know, to me it's like, isn't that saying there's a right or a wrong? Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Okay. Is this you raising your standards for you? Maybe. Like, is there a standard that needs to be upheld in order for you to be respected as the way you des in the way that you deserve? Potentially, echo, echo. There's this echo. Ah, yeah. Okay. So whatever it is that you speak out comes back to you. There's an echo. Whatever it is you do comes back to you, right? So is it a matter of you needing to cancer look at what it is that you're putting out there and how is that coming back to you, right? Decay. This is... Something that is, it's it's served its purpose, it's done its time. I feel like, Cancer, this is about the way you've been treated. I feel like there's something that has, has its light been shed upon. Has the light is shed upon something. Mm. Um, anyway, let's have a look at this next card. Angel of Miracles. Open your heart and expect a miracle. Yeah, so there's, there's, there's something new being birthed in your life. Right? It's really interesting too because these two are flying above the city. Yeah, so when we're talking about raise your standards, right? I feel like this is about you raising up, yeah? You rising up here. Tell me more about Angel of Miracles for Cancer. One on the floor. Is that just one? Yeah. One more card. Here we go. Let me pick this one up off the floor. Okay, Cancer. Angel of Miracles. Look at this. This is Shelter. This is you seeking shelter, right? There's something that has caused you to hibernate. I don't know if hibernate's the right word, but retreat, right? There's something that has caused you to go into the safety chamber of your world where you know that you'll be safe. Um... 
and while you're in there I've just raised your standards jumps out of me again it's important for you to reflect and go okay what what do I expect for for myself now in order to keep myself protected right we have reach look at this reach look at this in the tree right this is like a zoomed in version of the tree and this is about you reaching into the light, reaching up to the light here, right? To go, I'm not hiding anymore. Why should I hide? Why should I be the one to have to retreat and go into the shadows? Why can't I just grow into who I want to be and allow that to happen anyway? Why can't that just be? Yeah? And why? Why? Cancer, why wouldn't it? You know, because sometimes it's us who puts ourselves in the shadows. It's sometimes us who puts ourselves in the darkness. And so there's certain things we have to take responsibility and accountability for. Okay? So, this next card here. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Interesting. Yeah. So, you know... Like I say, there's only so much that we can um, we can externalize, but the rest, look, at, it really comes down to us. No matter what, we need to look at ourselves and go, okay, how did I add to this situation here? What could I have done differently? And how can I do th things differently in the future? Yeah. Okay, so tell me more about look inside yourself for cancer, please. Really, it's about being completely and utterly honest with yourself. Sometimes brutally honest, you know. Sometimes it's stuff we don't want to hear, and that's okay, right? So let's have a look at this card on the floor. Okay, so we have seven deadly sins, humanity's destructive traits. Yeah, all those deadly sins, right? Last... Um, Envy, it's the only two I can think of right now, but there's seven. <laughs> um, it's having a look at those seven sins and seeing how they apply to your life and which ones need to be worked on, yeah? This is about you being really, really conscious and looking at those sins and going, even if you can't immediately see how that would apply to you, just hold them there. And as you go through your daily activities, you know, and ask to be shown, ask to be shown as well, you'll see, you'll see things come to the light, right? You'll see things become clear so that you can actually start to make the changes in your life that you need to make, okay? Um yeah, the fog will clear, we could say, right? The fog will clear, definitely. Okay, so um, we have this card here, ephemeral, ephemeral, yeah. And look, it's not going to take long for this to come to light, okay? You're going to be able to look at it and go, okay, this is what I need to do to change and move forward with it. It's not going to be something you, you have to work on for years and years and years. It's only going to be a short-lived thing, okay? But it's going to help you propel forward and um, move along your path a lot easier. Okay, we have confrontation. Pick your battles wisely. Yeah. See, this is also part of those seven deadly sins, right? Pick your battles wisely. What do you? What is worth fighting? You know, what is worth fighting for? You know, because sometimes we just we don't want to give in. Our ego comes into play, and it's like, do we really need to um, go down that that path, uh, or can we just go? You know what? Whatever. Let's let it be. You know. How does it affect you? You know, how does it affect you in your life? Whatever is going on, does it affect you? Do you need to get involved? Maybe not, you know. We have the tree remembers. Look at this tree standing in its power here with all its wisdom and glory. While well, these beings here honour the tree. Okay, and this is what I feel like is important for you to hold on to because it's almost as though for some of you there's this wisdom and this power that um, resides inside of you but at the moment um, it's like getting caught up in everything else that's going on around you we can forget sometimes exactly um, the strength and the solidarity that uh, it surrounds us yeah okay so we have idleness here as well yeah 
So this is also um, moving cautiously, consciously, not just rushing forward for the sake of it, each step being a conscious step. I'm going to take the step because of X, Y, Z, and this is my intention, this is my heart space, and making sure that it's not from the ego. Yeah? Okay. We have this card here. New beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Love it. I love, 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 love it. Okay, so, Cancer, let's have a look at this. Which makes sense to me that that would be here, actually, because like how that came out we have decay which is the ending of something right this is putting something to rest okay so two cards for you yep that's okay so the first card here is money find a way to abundance okay so a new beginning in money this could be um some of you getting a new job or finding other ways to make money for yourself okay uh, exploring opportunities i want to say exploring different ways to invest your money, um, or your, I, I want to say money, but I actually want to say your currency, and really considering what your currency is, right, because currency can be anything, currency, cancer could be your energy, how do you want to best invest your energy and your time, you know, what is currency to you, okay, something to consider anyway, okay, so we have bloom yes time for you to bloom there's something that is this new beginning is going to allow you to bloom we have opportunity here as well right taking the leap taking the leap of faith moving upwards in the world you know going like leveling up this is literally you leveling up here okay this is why it's important for these for you to look inside yourself because when you do Things are going to change for you. There's going to be a shift. And maybe, you know, you'll start leaping to heights that you wouldn't have leaped to before because you hadn't have done the work of um, this internal work in order for you to now take this next leap in your life. Okay. We have sensuality. Express your sensuality. You see, this is you living from the heart here. 100% openly and honestly living from the heart okay so let's have a look further into this tell me more about sensuality okay we've got we've got currents here okay and and i feel like this is about you really going with the flow okay um this card here This person is swimming with these whales. And it's like there's they're sort of connected here, right? Um, so part of this is about you going with the flow. And I have a feeling that for some of you that can feel quite like quite a vulnerable thing for you to do, to go with the flow. But it's actually necessary. Okay, we have cosmic. Okay. <laughs> See, this is the same thing again. It's opening up, opening up to the elements, opening up to let things transpire as they're meant to rather than trying to control and force them. Okay. Out of fear. Okay, this is about experiencing life in a sensual way. And the sensuality of that is allowing things to be. You know, you don't find someone controlling sensu sensuality, right? You can't be sensual in a controlled environment. You can't control that. It is or it isn't. You allow it to flow. So this is what this, this advice, advice is, okay? We have a reverie. Rever rever reverie um and this is about you you know dreaming like what are your dreams here you know um letting that flow out of you 
you know, because I feel like some of you have dreams in your life. But it's sort of like this um, thing of like, oh, yeah, but that wouldn't happen. Or I could have done that when I was younger. Or, uh, in, yeah, that would, that would never come to me. Now, you know, um, it happens for everyone else but not me type of attitude. But dream, dream big and know that that is possible for you. Okay, Cancer, because you are deserving of that. And unless you truly believe that, then it can't come to you. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.